The Bad Bash, Season 3, Episode 3, Thoughts. This episode is called Shadows of Tantus. Another episode I love. Spoilers for everything Star Wars leading up to and including this episode. The show is rated TV PG, so will this video be? Let's dive right in. So, yeah, I, I like how this episode actually opens in a very similar way to the you know the first episode of this season and then you know there's these slight things that are that are a little bit different and then omega out you know actually calls out you know there's something different and let's see yeah um you know nala say catches you know spots she can't stop it but spots emery taking a sample of omega's blood and this time she's not able to destroy it. And yeah, love that the tension for the rest of the episode. I love when 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 shows and movies do this, you know, have this level of faith in the audience. Because yeah, from the very start of this episode, from like maybe three minutes in to the very end, a major point of tension is this one vial of blood you know when when it's tested which happens near the very end of the episode they realize this is a match this is what we need you know that's that's a really important you know that that means that they really badly want more of omega's blood and you know yeah that can really help their plan yeah the the so much time is spent on that, even though, you know, it's not an explosion, it's not like people shooting at each other, this kind of thing. It is this, you know, more like, it's a, it's a long-term thing, and it's not the most, like, visually exciting by itself, but they know that it's, you know, yeah, it's a major thing. So the, the the show, yeah, the filmmakers do, and so they, you know, yeah, they give it the appropriate weight, and trust that the audience will care, and I certainly did, I imagine a lot of people did, and just, yeah, these little shots, you know, you see Nala say, and she's like, you know, thinking, trying to figure out what, what can I do, and you see, you know, the, the blood sample be, be placed, and you see the, the, Thing that that turns to to test the different blood samples, just yeah, th you know, ev the the audience can easily you know, it's also not can easily follow it. It's not one of those things where they feel the need to have a character like explain. But if that blood is tested, it will you know. Th there's a couple of verbal, you know, things to help I explain, but a lot of it is visual. I love that. And I appreciate, like, Emery legitimately does care about Omega, but she's also, like, she she thinks that Omega just needs rest. You know, she can't imagine that there is some... She, yeah, she, I, she believes in what they're doing. And she doesn't think that the, the uh, you know, very very solid characterization, much more interesting character than just like, you know, mustache twirling evil. She, you know, she could easily have just said, now go do the rest of your chores, you know, but instead she says, you know what, take the rest of the day off, go rest, I'll, I'll come check on you later. And, and, you know, she does, and she seems legitimately surprised that she, that, that Omega was not in her room. And, yeah, very cool to see Palpatine back. And this is apparently Ian McDermott voicing the character again. Yeah, amazing, as always. And, and yeah, so so Omega steals the little the, the data pad and, and uses it to get onto the, the elevator. And the, the mouse droid is, like, trying to, to make it up. You know, presumably it has some kind of job that it has to do on another floor. And it almost gets to the you know, it's driving just fast enough that it could make it. But Omega, like, stops it and kicks it out, and then the doors close. And it, like, you know, reacts as, like, trying to get through. <laughs> this is adorable. Yeah. You know, but 
it's it is an evil droid. You know, it's working for the Empire. I know. I certainly, you know, playing playing the Dark Forces games. I've certainly attacked a mouse droid or two. And let's see. Yeah, I appreciate Crosshair's pointing out. You know, that's not a plan. That's not even a simple plan. And and yeah, you know, Omega says to strike the guards. So it's like. I mean, okay, uh, guard, come here, and he starts giving orders, <laughs> and yeah, you know, of course, the stormtroopers like, what is, dude, you do not outrank us, you are our prisoner, you know, of course it gets them to lower their guard, because they're like, what, what are you even, like, it's, it's so... Um, so unexpected that you can't help but like stop and be like, what? It, what is going on? You know, why would he? Why would he possibly think that he could destroy? You know, although uh, of course, as per usual, it is one of those things of like, they're they're guards though. Would they not? Would they really be so easily swayed by? You know, like it's it's one of those things where like. If the the guard is if if your prisoner is saying or doing something weird, don't like you know pay special attention to him. Like call in for backup or something. You know don't don't let that fool you. But you know it needs to be. And it's, you know every so often Star Wars throws us one of these wonderful like improvised kinds of things. You know the the I think yeah. I feel like each, yes, I, I, you know, all 11 of the movies feature at least one of these, like, you know, we're desperate, we gotta try to do it, and, and some of it they have to make up as they go along kind of thing. It's just, it's a big part of Star Wars, one of my favorite parts of Star Wars, and Omega does not tell Crosshair why it has to be today that they're running you know she claims Nala say told me this I I think she is a little worried that he was telling the truth that he would leave her behind because if he really does not worry as much about her as he said you know yes if he does not really worry that much about if she's free or not if he thinks he himself deserves to be there and he's told that the reason that she wants them to escape now is because they think they can use her blood. There's some chance that he would say, well, then we're not leaving, you know, and, and she wants him with her. Let's see. And <laughs> stealing Palpatine's shuttle. Yeah, that's. Because it's the only one that's not grounded, and it is there is a certain logic to it, and yeah, very tense when Emery does catch up to Crosshair and Omega, and I honestly I I believe her when she says she legitimately does she doesn't want them her or at least not Omega hurt. And, yeah, very, very cool when they're f running as the, the ray shields are closing, or, yeah, right behind them, just super intense, and, you know, yeah, once the, the, um, once they realize that, oh, they're trying to make a break for it for using the, the shields, oh, well, turn the shields on immediately. Let's see... And they release the hounds, and we see them fighting the the other the creature that we heard in the in the first episode of the season, but didn't see yet. And the um, subtitles identified as a dryax, if that's how you pronounce that. And yeah, it did not disappoint. And <laughs> yeah. Um, apparently, tech 
made or made. Actually, yeah, come to think of it, I think we might already. It's news to Crosshair. I'm not certain that. I think we might have already learned in one of the first two seasons. But yeah, you know, tech, you know, made Omega learn all the different plans. And yeah, it's, you know, they're able to execute plan 72 to great effect. And Batcher shows up and helps out. Very cool. And yeah, finally, the, the blood is indeed tested. And the, the yeah, yeah. Emery manages to, to convince Hemlock to, to call off the attack. And yeah, that you know, we have our setup for the the main storyline. I can imagine they're they can Yeah, I guess we'll see if they also do one off stories in, in this season. But but yeah, certainly the overarching plot, you know, the yeah. Dr. Hemlock and the others desperately want Omega, and they want her alive so they can take more of her blood and use on, you know, for, for the, yeah, the, the project, which best I can tell is genuinely that that's how they explain somehow Palpatine returned, which I love Star Wars. I, I love most of new Star Wars, Disney Star Wars. I don't love when Disney Star Wars is bending over backwards to to apologize for other Disney Star Wars. You know, we've been seeing this since at least the the um, certainly Rise of Skywalker did it. I can imagine yeah, there was probably some stuff in um can't believe I'm blanking on I'll have it momentarily. The the Last Jedi probably also had at least some apologizing for the, the yeah. But yeah, um, really looking forward to seeing the the next episode in a week. So yeah, catch you then.